hello friends welcome to our channel google galaxy today we are going to discuss our chapter chemical reaction chemical reaction is basically a process in which a new substance with new properties are formed a chemical reaction is a process in which new substance with the new property are formed if this is happening we call that process as that a chemical reaction takes place everything around us is keep on changing is keep on changing during this process a large number of chemical reaction taking place this piece of paper is white in color after 500 years it becomes brown in color so what is happening in the language of chemistry say a chemical a chemical reaction take place a piece of wood becomes black after few years if we exposed in air we called in the language of chemistry that a chemical reaction is take place on the wood remember one thing chemical reaction is not only carried out in science laboratory a large number of chemical reaction keep on occurring in our daily life giving you the example that soaring of milk soaring of milk if we just left the milk at room temperature in summer it becomes sour so in the language of chemistry we say a chemical reaction takes place if i just burn a piece of wood it will turns into coal we called a chemical reaction take place this piece of wood we called as reactant we called as reactant a heat is applied this is this one is delta this one is a symbol for burning or we can say heat after burning this wood it will become coal coal is the output we called it product suppose we want to prepare tea for our mother the ingredients for preparing the tea is tea leaves sugar milk water these all things are we called as reactant when we burn the product side will be tea so how we can write that using tea leaves plus sugar plus milk these all things are we call these all things as reactants when we heat on a burner it will become tea so tea will act as tea will act as product that a tea is having new properties than that of initial a coal is coal will show different properties different chemical properties physical properties than that of wood so we say whenever a new substance is formed if it is having new properties we called as we called as that chemical reaction take place if a piece of ice melt to form water this water is having same characteristics as of ice so we never say a chemical reaction takes place why is it so because water and ice both are having same properties means that no new properties is developed there are number of examples cooking of food is also a type of chemical reaction 
digestion of food in our body once the food digest into our body it will never become to it will never reaches its initial position similarly fermentation of grapes rusting of iron when the iron left exposed to humid atmosphere it will become reddish brown so we say a chemical reaction takes place so the substances in the chemical reaction the substances known at uh, known at known as reactants are converted into new substance called as product remember this thing the conversion of reactant into product is often accompanied by new features so what are the important characteristics for chemical reaction that how we can identify a chemical reaction takes place how do we came, come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place this will become clear from the from this discussion the important characteristics that tells us that a chemical reaction takes place any one of these i just write over here if in a chemical reaction if there is an evolution of gas uh, evolution means there will be a as a uh, release of gas evolution of gas we say a chemical reaction takes place if there is a formation of precipitation formation of precipitate what does precipitate means that a substance left behind as a residue in the product side the tea leaves are acting as precipitate the tea leaves acting as precipitate if there is a change in color we call as a chemical reaction takes place a piece of iron will become reddish brown if we exposed if we left exposed to air humid air so there will be a change in color so it means a chemical reaction takes place with some new properties a new substance is formed similarly if there is a change in temperature then actual it may be rising temperature it, it may be a decrease in temperature if this will happen we called a chemical reaction takes place similarly we are having change in state change in state if there is a change in state we called this that a chemical reaction takes place any one of these general characteristics can tell us whether a chemical reaction has take place or not for example on mixing two substances a gas is evolved then we say a gas is evolved then we say a chemical reaction has takes place similarly if there is a formation of precipitate we say a chemical reaction will takes place 